Hi folks, this is Jay, uh, just making a quick video. Um, I'm on record uh, for a couple of years now saying that atheism is just more than an absence of belief. I've been on record for saying that for a long, long time. Atheists hammered me for it and I, I kept to my guns and said atheism is more than just an absence of belief. There's certain uh, I, I I, ideas about morality, etc. that come with it. And uh, the atheists used to hammer me with this and I just want to play you a clip about by no pun um, and I'll explain to you the context of his video especially from when I was a child I recall James Randi and you'd see him on television and he'd be talking about things like UFOs or the paranormal or debunking this kind of thing and that's what the skeptic movement was about that's what it was about you know the word skeptic has a, has a more general definition but that wasn't what the skeptics movement it's like free thought blogs you can't take the name literally if you do you're going to come totally unstuck it's, 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 it's a subset free thought blogs is a very small subset of what free thought could consist of in totality such as it was with the skeptics movement so you would think if you went into the skeptics movement those would be the kind of things you would do wouldn't you you wouldn't think you'd go into the skeptics movement not really giving a shit about those kind of things and then thinking well do you know what i'm in this movement now and i couldn't give a crap about any of these things i tell you what i'll do i'll try and make the movement about a total load of different things so let me read you from natalie reed's blog who is another blogger here at uh, uh, Free Thought Blogs. She's talking about the skeptic movement. What I was or thought I was was a skeptic. And what I cared about and was passionate enough about to become a part of all of this was skepticism. The skepticism I believed in wasn't about some little club for people to get together and tell each other how smart they all are for not believing in incredibly silly things like UFOs, Bigfoot, psychics, ghosts and the Loch Ness Monster. Nor was it even necessarily about activism focused on a address dangerous information and charlatanism like alternative medicine, blah, 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 blah. I saw in scepticism a great deal of potential too. It was a community that had until recently been very much based in the hard, scientists, in hard sciences and in addressing the more objectively falsifiable beliefs that people held like cryptids, UFOs, alt-med and paranormal phenomena. But I saw absolutely no reason that scepticism couldn't be compatible with the social justice issues I also cared about, like feminism, misogyny, sexism, cissexism, gender binarism, racism, ableism. These things didn't seem meaningfully different to me from pseudoscience, new age, woo, religious faith, occultism or the paranormal. Do you know what suggests to me that this Natalie Reed? has gone in to this sceptics. It was a nice little club for people. They knew what they liked, you know. It was like a golf club. And, and everybody in the golf club kind of likes playing golf. And then she strode in and thought, what the fuck? I'm not interested in any of this shit. This isn't what I'm interested in. Let's make this club. It's like you go into a golf club, you don't like golf. So you say, I tell you what, let's stop playing golf. Let's start playing tennis. Because kind of, I think golf's a bit silly. Really. It's just smashing a ball round the load of fields. Tennis is a much better game. Let's start playing tennis. When I was a kid, there was no kind of political aspect to the sceptics kind of organisations, the sceptic movement. It was about UFOs and stuff like that. If you didn't like it, stay away from it. Maybe it's a bit nerdy, maybe it's all a little bit shit. But that's what it was about. I can't understand why anybody would go into it and then say, well, I think this should be about political issues. Why would somebody say that? Because they're a political animal. This is what I see. Every time I see sceptical, the, the sceptic sort of societies now, or, or the sceptic movement, it doesn't seem to be about these things it used to be about. It's about social issues. It's about political issues. It's like a load of people that weren't really interested in the kind of thing that sceptic movement was interested in have, have got into it, but they're really political animals. And so what they've done is they've just trashed it and redefined it and made it what they want it to be, not what it actually was okay so, so i i uh I'll have to stop it because i can't do too much of it because it's copyright and no plum 99 might not be happy with me playing too much uh i feel sorry for no plum 99 if you're watching this no plum uh i feel sorry for you i can see uh i made a video before laughing uh 
I couldn't help but laughing on your other video about the issue but I'm uh, genuinely touched by uh, that video I can see you're really hurt and upset by this takeover bit but it's something that I told you I told I said uh, a couple of years ago I kept arguing about this that this was going to happen uh, but you wouldn't take any notice of me and you atheists wouldn't take any notice of me uh, I told you that uh, you're naive if you think that you can hold on to a definition of atheism and think that definition of atheism defines your atheism you're not I, I tried to tell you and argue and argue and argue that this is naive that when you get an, a definition of something whether it be atheism or, some, or something else there's always other ramifications that are going to come with that definition all right and people are always going to play power games and try to define it and change it and manipulate it to what they want and that's what I tried to warn and tried to say before all this free thought blogs and atheism plus issue came to be all right so all I can say as uh, atheists uh, who, were, who were upset with this takeover bid that the feminist uh, free thought blogs have done is just to say that you know the arguments that I was making to you a year and a half ago about this the chickens have come on to roost you know um, you cannot look at atheism and take it the definition of atheism that you give and say that that's all there is to atheism we're, we're seeing that now how it's being applied to social issues alright you can also see it in the in the history of atheism how uh, this definition that some people have tried to hold on to atheism is a lack of belief in God because it's due to a lack of evidence that this this definition uh, is not all there is to atheism when you look at history of atheism how a atheism has a political uh, history um, and it's coming out again today in, in modern times so you people who've said this is all that atheism is genuinely might have thought that was the case but it was delusional all right it was delusional so those are just my thoughts um no pull 99 you lost the argument mate you lost the argument atheism is not what you said it used to be all right what it was when you said it was whatever you were saying it you lost the argument no plum 99 because now atheism is a variety of social agendas as well so what are you going to do now all right what you need to do is realize the logical conclusion of your atheism that it leads to these certain so it leads to these kind of things and it leads to um, well moral relativism in the end of the day that's one of the logical implications of atheism all right so thank you for listening and take care god bless